Hello and welcome to this week's Vatican Updates, the most important news from Pope Francis and the Vatican. Pope Francis and U.S. President Joe Biden spoke by phone to discuss the latest developments in the Israel and Gaza, according to a statement from the White House. The Holy See press office said the phone call lasted about 20 minutes and focused on conflicting situations in the world and the need to identify paths to peace. The Pope and the President also discussed the need to prevent escalation in the region and to work towards a durable peace in the Middle East, the White House said. The Nicaraguan regime reported that it has released 12 priests it had imprisoned and sent them to the Vatican after an agreement was reached with the authorities of the Catholic Church. In a press release, the government announced that the release of the priests took place after fruitful conversations with the Holy See. Bishop Ronaldo Alvarez of the Diocese of Matagalpa, who was sentenced on February 10th to 26 years and four months in prison, was not among those released. Pope Francis accepted the resignation of 59-year-old Polish Bishop Gregor Kazak. Kazak, who led the Southern Polish Diocese of Sosnowiec since 2009, had recently faced blowback from local media for his response to a priest of his diocese allegedly being caught hosting an orgy with a male prostitute at the end of August. I ask everyone to forgive my human limitations, the bishop said in a statement. If I have offended anyone or neglected anything, I am very sorry for it. Ireland's President Michael Higgins in a Vatican ceremony paid tribute to Monsignor Hugh O'Flaherty, an Irish priest who hid Italian Jews from the Nazis and went on to baptize the former head of the Gestapo in Rome. The wreath-laying ceremony in the Vatican's Teutonic Cemetery marked the 60th anniversary of O'Flaherty's death on October 30, 1963. New data from the Vatican shows that Africa added to the greatest number of Catholics in 2021 out of all the continents and that of all the world's continents registered at least a modest increase in the number of Catholics in 2021, except for Europe, which continued a year-long decline. The annual report by the Vatican's Fides News Agency shows that Catholics in the world are numbered 1,375,852,000 people at the end of 2021, with an overall increase of 16.2 million compared with the previous year. Thank you for watching this week's Vaticano Updates. I'm Matthew Santucci for EWTN Vaticano.